Were you bit? Don't tell anyone. I walk a bit, Jim. Time for an axe to the head. No need to do that. Maybe the CDC can help. I heard they were working on a cure. And have cupcakes, waiting for us. World went to hell, Rick. It's a stretch to think the CDC is still open. Instead, we should drive 100 miles, to the army base in Fort Benning, for shelter. The military got overrun. And we all seen that. Honestly, I'm just gonna disagree with you regardless, because I want Laurie. What? I meant I want Laurie and Carl to be safe. Shane blames me for going back for Merle. You were both wrong. I love you. That's all I got. I love you too, I guess. Good enough for me. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, 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 no. What the hell? No, 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 no. The CDC is a mistake. He's my husband. I stand by him. So fixing your marriage means putting people's lives at risk. Folks round here can make up their minds without bringing my marriage into it. That's a habit you need to break. I guess I have to list habits I'm breaking, whether I like it or not. What habits? Nothing. Let's go do our sleep. Okie dokie. I don't think everyone is on board with the CDC. It's safer than driving. 100 miles to hostile territory. Why can't you back me up? I don't see it. If it was your family, you'd feel differently. I kept my family safe. I know. I did not mean it that way. I can never repay you for taking care of Laurie while I was in a coma. I took care of her, all right. I will check that area, for walkers. Right in my target. I should kill you now. And Laurie will be mines again. I'm going to walk away, like that didn't just happen. Nothing to see here. Okay everyone listen, I trust Rick's instincts, and those who agree to the CDC, we leave first thing tomorrow morning. He's not going to make it. Morgan, we are moving out. Leaving the quarry. I'm leaving a note and map behind for you, 
tape to a red car, so you can follow our trail. We are going to the CDC. I don't know why I keep talking into this radio. You never once responded back. I will continue to speak into it because I like the sound of my voice. Is everyone ready to go to the CDC? No, my family and I are not going. There's something off about this group, and we don't want any part of it. Smart choice. I knew we wouldn't get far with that hose, and I was right. Can you try to jury rig it? That's what it's been so far. More duct tape than hose, and I'm out of duct tape. Sorry. I used the entire roll of duct tape to attach the note for Morgan. You and Andrea need to learn how to conserve resources. It's me again, Jenna. It's day 194 since the wildfire was declared, and 63 days since the disease abruptly went global. There's no clinical progress. I'm still not sleeping well, living underground, don't know if it's day or night. I suppose I could just check my surveillance camera. It's all the way over there. Never mind. These samples are perfect. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Alert status, corrosive elements detected, countdown to full decontamination. The TS-19 samples are gone. Bet there's not a son of a bitch out there listening to me. I hate the apocalypse. I think I'll blow my brains out, tomorrow. But tonight, I'm getting drunk. Everyone stay quiet. There's nobody here. Then why are the shutters down? Walkers. You led us to a graveyard, shut up. Rick, you led us to a graveyard. No blame on me. Where are we going to go? She's right. We can't be this close to the city, after dark. Fort Benning is still an option. On what? No food? No fuel, no duct tape, or toilet paper. That's 100 miles. 125 miles. I checked the map. If you're drunk and you know it, clap your hands. If you're drunk and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're drunk and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> 